Hey y'all, um, I'm coming to do a little bit of a hair update. Um, let's see, last night I ended up co-washing my hair um, with this As I Am co-wash, coconut co-wash. Um, y'all see that? Um, it's a great, it's a, a cleansing conditioner, and it's a great, great, great conditioner. Um, hold on, let me see. Y'all gotta excuse me. I'm trying to record this real quick from my phone. So y'all know how that go. Trying to hold it and do everything else. Um, so, this is what it looks like. Um, and I still have a lot left. I've probably used it. Hmm, maybe five to ten times, I guess. Um, because I alternate this, and you can see it's very creamy. Um, really just like a, a um, regular conditioner. I can't do all that, show y'all all that um, texture. I mean, you can see it's just, it's not, it's, it's not very thick, but it is creamy and does its job. It's very good as far as um, cleansing and conditioning. That's what I mean by that, like... You can tell it cleanses. It gets my scalp clean. And at the same time, it doesn't strip. So, um, you can tell that, you know, it, your scalp is clean. It does get rid of the buildup and stuff. And then it's also great for um, a detangler. Um, so, yeah. So, I, I use that. And, uh, let's see. I followed up with... I've been... I said I was going to do um, better about, because y'all know how the winter months do on our hair. It really has us dried out if you do not um, maintain moisture and keep it uh, in there. So I told myself I wasn't going to be too picky as far as, because this is only my, I guess, second year. Like second winter, second winter season. So, um... And when I first went natural, I was struggling, trying to figure out what the heck was going on, why my hair stayed so dry. Um, long story short, after a long while, I've come to find out I was protein sensitive. Once I tackled that, it still was a struggle to find out which which products, even without protein, worked for me um, to maintain the moisture. So I wouldn't, because I was I was using products or having to like spritz or spray my hair um, three, four times a day just to keep it from being dry that, that's at the time I was using protein and then as I start you know found out what the problem was I still had to spritz a couple of times like in the morning and and, and at night I think I'm still gonna have to do that during the winter time just to keep my scalp from being so dry and itchy and um, to keep the, my hair from being dry and breaking but anyway I tried this uh, Aussie I, and I said all that to say this I'm not going to be, I'm going to try not to be too picky as far as um, the products that I use, you know, whether or not they have cones or um, what else, mineral oil. Like, I've never really too much cared about that because coming up, I, you know, we use grease and it didn't hurt my hair at all. Um, so, I actually bought, and I didn't bring it in here, but I'll show y'all the products when I start to do because I just, right now I just have my hair in twists and I'm going to, um plan on putting some single leaf twists in so I will come back and show you I guess when I start that process or whatever um, what products I use but I brought me some Dax which is basically just grease um, but yeah it has petroleum in it and uh, maybe lanolin I can't even, I think maybe not petroleum I think it is petroleum or lanolin whichever one but um, but yeah, I tried this. I've been hearing like people raving on this Aussie Moist. And uh, I wanted to see what the whole fuss was about. So um, I've only used it once. I, you know, I still, the first time it was, um, it was great actually. My hair is still soft um, and it felt good going on. That's the thing, like how I know a product is, whether or not it's going to work or not. Um, because my hair just soaked it up. Um and it felt good as I was working it through and retwisting each section and stuff. And it's on it's a deep conditioner, and but it's only three minutes. You don't even have to leave it on that long. Um and that was only like four dollars at uh Walgreens. So I'll come back, I'm sure I'm gonna use it some more because I did I do like it. Um, but you know, just to see 
how my hair reacts in the future. Um, let's see. So I did that and rinsed it out. And I applied um, in this spritz bottle, water bottle. I had um, some oils, water and oils like um, um, rosemary. Uh, I don't think I had peppermint. Um, I honestly can't remember. I think I put some e MSM powder in it and some other some other oils. But it was about gone. It, it it only had a little bit left. So I ended up putting um, a little bit of this Jessica. Um, Y'all can't see that. But it's a deeply weak, uh, weekly deep conditioning. This is some good stuff. It's um, expensive, but it's worth it. Um, I've had this bottle or this little jar now for um, shoot, at least six months, maybe. Probably longer. That's how much is left. It looks like a little bit, but it's actually still quite a bit because I don't use that much. If you can see the side of the container, it's about it's about right there, like where the tip of my nail is. So that's how much is left. Um, and I love this stuff. It's some it's some good stuff. This this I told y'all several times. This and that uh, curl junkie. Their deep conditioner is um is what I alternate with when I need a good moisturizing deep conditioner. I love those. So I did took that and put some uh, water in this bottle and just shook it up real good so that's what's and it's still like I said has a little bit of the oil mixture in there um I actually used this um the night before as kind of like um I was trying to do a ref like moisturize it but I kind of used it as a uh, I guess you could say a pre-poo really um because I just spritzed my twists or braids and um and um put some grape seed oil my grape seed oil mixture over it and put it under a stocking cap and I wore a hat all day yesterday so um to it kind of simmered in there before I did my co-wash last night so anyway once I rinsed that oxy moist uh three minute deep treatment out I followed up with this as I am leaving good stuff y'all and a little bit of the Jesse girl I mixed those two together and worked it in and um, my hair was feeling great as I was working that in and then I followed up I thought oof, had a sneeze I followed up with um, just regular grapeseed oil not my mixture just regular grapeseed oil because I had intentions of blowing it blow doing a blowout um, <laughs> and that stopped real short because I was already tired and um, I wouldn't get anywhere anyway because it just ended up under here I mean it just ended up um, shrinking back up anyway even after I retwisted the sections I probably should have platted them but it don't even matter because I don't know it really ain't no point I don't think in trying to stretch it out I'm gonna put it in a single least twist anyway and it's probably gonna just you know do what it do in those so um I think that's it oh I um um I also the night the night before I well, two nights ago, I guess, um, and just a little while ago, I oiled my scalp with this um, Jamaican black castor oil tea tree. I've, I'm revisiting this because when I first used it, I didn't really care for it too much. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the tea tree in it or what um, before. I didn't really care for it because it seemed like it made my hair even more hard or dry or something. Um but it's probably that hemp seed because I know that has a little bit of protein, but it's at the very bottom, so it shouldn't be too much in it. But I don't know. But I'm re I'm revisiting it again, um, really for the purpose of keeping my scalp from being dry and itchy. Um, let's see. So I did that, and this morning I also put on some um, Oyen hairdo. Um, just to moisturize, and then I sealed with my little castor oil mixture. So, yeah, I'm about to, um, get out of here. I'm actually going to take, pack up my little quote-unquote salon and, um, meet some of my school friends to study. So I'm going to try to 
get some of my hair knocked out while we're doing that. So yeah, I will come back and let you know what products I use. Actually, I'm going to be using um, uh, my Kemet Biologic Omelette Olive Heavy Cream. I haven't used that in a while, so I will use that. And then um, I'm going to be using the... Um, it's a it's a pomade um, by it the, da, 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 I can't even talk the Jamaican Black Company um, so it's part of this series but it's actually gonna be the pomade um, um, and then on my ends and at the ends of the um, what they call singly Swiss I'm gonna be using the Dax. Um, to see how that works out. So I will let y'all know or come back in the middle of the process probably or whenever I feel like it, whenever I take a break to holler back at y'all and let y'all see what's going on. I don't think I'm going to be able to actually film and, or do a tutorial or like that, but there's plenty on. You can just search them, find them. <laughs> All right.